It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got another keg for the Philips Perfect Draft Machine right here. I picked up a keg of Tiny Rebel Cali Pale, a juicy pale ale coming in at 5% ABV. I fancied it. I fancied it because I had that Lefe Ruby. So I took the Lefe Ruby, the empty keg. So what you do, you take the empty kegs back to your beer shop where they supply these kegs and they give you five pound back for the empty keg which is really pleasing so i was pleased to get rid of that Lafay ruby in the end but in all honesty some of you said give it a go give it a chance uh drink more of it in the end me and the wife smashed it in on a saturday night we lit the barbecue in the garden and we drank the whole thing in one night and it ended up being okay the more I drank it, the more I enjoyed it. I got over that kind of sweetness. But anyway, that's gone now. We got the Cali Pail to show you on the Philips Perfect Draft. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to connect the keg. So release this plastic protection on the top. Every new keg should come with a new beer line. If it doesn't come with a new beer line, take it back. Ooh. Right, so open that up. Here's your beer line. Open the doors on your machine. Get rid of that. And here is your tap. What I like to do some people like to kind of get it on top of the keg, fit it, and then fill your kind of, and then put your line in. But I like to actually have it in my hands, so I've got two hands moving around because it can be a little bit of a fiddle. This so get your hose, feed your hose down, put your tap. Apparently, pull pull the tap down; it'll go in a lot easier. In fact, that is so true. That is so true. It goes in so much easier when you pull the tap handle down. And then simply click that into position, put it on top of your keg. I'm gonna go this way, just like so. And then a big hard push. You'll hear a little bit of carbonation escaping. I give that a little bit of a wiggle on the back, just to make sure it's kind of in position. And then you simply grab hold of your keg Slide it into position, push it back, down with the blue handles, close your doors, machine fires up, it's already telling me it's 11 degrees, it'll there you go, you hear that noise every time, um, it's already telling me now it's 9 degrees, um, we got 30 days on the keg and we got a full keg. So that's that's the kind of parameters on the front of the chart there. Next thing you're going to want to do is pour a beer. So grab your beer glass, pour a little bit of beer through the line, that line we just fitted. Just a little bit like so. Wet your glass, and what you're doing, you're not just wetting your glass, but you're pouring, you're filling your line with beer. So there's no first pour, big frothy glass, and you're thinking, oh, what's this now? You've got beer in your line, so you're not having, the beer's not having to travel down the line, into your glass, frothing up everywhere. Hmm. So 45 degree under, ha, ha. 45 degree angle on your glass, pull your handle straight down. No messing about, don't half pull it, don't be too slow with it, just bang, pull it like an arm wrestle, pull it straight down, like so. Thank you. 
And there we have it, everybody, your glass of beer. Being a machine where the beers are filled up in Belgium, I'm not surprised that we have this level of carbonation. The carbonation is actually protecting the beer, so I'm okay with that. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I just noticed on the side of the keg, um, I should have looked when I was at the shop last night, but I didn't. It was 8 o'clock, I was tired, I wanted to get home. I didn't look at the date on the keg, it was short dated. It is the, it's April, April 2022, and this keg said 4th 2022. So, it's a bit of a short dated keg, and you can kind of see the short datedness, I paid full price as well, which is always a, isn't it? When you see a short, when you, it's almost like you kick yourself. And, and I'd already committed myself to the review. I'd already taken the plastic bung off the top and I seen the date on the side and I was thinking to myself, ah, it's almost, you, you feel like you've been had, don't you? Um, but there may be a slight level of oxidization going on in this glass here. Um, it's a, it's an orangey pale ale. Um, the best thing we can do is just give it a drink in there. We've got a two finger white head, nice levels of carbonation, aroma. It smells hoppy enough. Lovely kind of passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. Yeah, it smells nice enough. Lots of tropical fruit. California pale ale, Cali pale ale. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, the keg cost me the £5 return. I had £5 off and the keg come to 33 So the keg would have cost me 37 if I bought it outright. Uh, but it cost me 33 because I had the £5 off with the keg. So anyway, cheers, everybody. It's not bad actually, it's not bad at all. Um, thankfully the beer's okay. Thankfully the beer's okay, 4th 2022. It's only the, it's April the 8th, I think it is today, Friday, April the 8th, or it might, it might be the 9th, something like that, day or two out. Um, this is not gonna last me to the end of the month. I'd be surprised if this last, if this keg lasted me the weekend. So as long as the beer is tasting good, which it is, I'm fine with, I, I picked up a short dated keg. Nice and cold. Always important to pre-chill your kegs. Get them, so when I bought that keg last night at eight o'clock, brought it straight home, put it in the fridge all night. Here we are, Friday morning. Bing, 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 Friday morning. Um, Ready for Friday night, the Stone Crow Virtual Pub. We got a keg on, nice and cold. You're not putting too much pressure on your machine, on your machine here to cool your beer down because these, these machines, although they're over 200 pounds to buy, they haven't got the best cooling systems in them. And I would fully suggest using the big old fridge we've all got in our kitchens to chill your keg, but without putting too much pressure on the cooling system on your Phillips Perfect Draft. I'm going to rate this, it's tropical, it's, there's a slight malt build in there. A little bit of passion fruit, a little bit of mango, a little bit of kind of wafer malt coming through. 5% ABV, yeah, very sessionable beer. I could session this all day long if, if I needed to. I like it. I like it. I like it enough to give it, it's actually very, very tasty. It's a really very, very tasty beer. Um, probably one of my favorites now from Tiny Rebel, instantly. Um, yeah, I like that. So it's a Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.